Hello, Father Kabicki here wishing you all a happy President's Day. This civil holiday was chosen for the month of February when two of our greatest presidents were born, Abraham Lincoln and George Washington. The latter, on September 17, 1796, gave what is known as his farewell address to the nation. In it, he said that he did not intend to run for re-election, and he advised the American people about what needed to happen in order for the great American experiment of democracy to succeed, and what was needed? Morality, and the only thing that can ultimately support morality, religion. I invite you to listen carefully now to these words from George Washington's farewell address. Of all the dispositions and habits which lead to political prosperity, religion and morality are indispensable supports. In vain would that man claim the tribute of patriotism who should labor to subvert these great pillars of human happiness, these firmest props of the duties of men and citizens, the mere politician, equally with the pious man, ought to respect and to cherish them. A volume could not trace all their connections with private and public felicity. Let it simply be asked, where is the security for property, for reputation, for life, if the sense of religious obligation desert the oaths which are the instruments of investigation in courts of law? And let us with caution indulge the supposition that morality can be maintained without religion. Whatever may be conceded to the influence of refined education, reason and experience both forbid us to expect that national morality can prevail in exclusion of religious principle.